guys, I know it has been a while, but today we're going to be doing another video. Um, as you all know, this is NASCAR 21 Ignition. As you can see, under the Start Racing, Test Drive the Next Gen Car, I'm going to be showing you what my what I think on the Next Gen Car for NASCAR 21 Ignition is. So, let's go do that. And as I can already tell, very nice Mustang look, same as the Next Gen. Very nice paint scheme. Could do a little... The car could do a little bit better customizing, but I think it looks good. And so now we're going to go to Daytona and practice it. So here we go. Let's get right into this. Remember, sub to Jack Spats, sub to Frictionators, like videos on Friction on my YouTube channel, Frictionage, and like Jack Spats videos, comment on Jack Spats videos, comment on my videos. Let's get this started. Here we go at Daytona, and so while we're driving this, I'm going to just tell you a few things on what I think they should do in the future for the next-gen car. So, here we go. Very nice. I think it's pretty cool. Look at the back. So cool. So, we're going to give you a little interior view. This is the interior. So, now, back to what I was going to do. Alright, so... Only whenever you're test driving the next gen car, they only have the Ford Mustang. I think they should add the Toyota and the Chevy in the future. And, like, instead of, and then, like, in the future, you can race these with AI, but the AI can then also be the old cars and the new cars. And,. Then, they could add, like, all the paint schemes for the Chevys, Toyotas, Fords. I think that'd be pretty cool. Because test driving this, all you're really doing is just in a racetrack all alone with the new next-gen car, Ford Mustang, in the, the, the... Okay, I'm sorry if I'm pronouncing this wrong. McLeedo? McLeed? I'm sorry if I'm pronouncing that wrong. McLeod? McLeod, McLeod, I don't know, sorry, but we got the Motorsports Games car, very nice, 78, um, but yeah, that'd be pretty cool in the future if we could have these racing with the AI and have the Chevy and Toyota added in the future, and also, only whenever you're just racing alone and only here for 59 minutes at Daytona, you can't really go to any other track, because all you're doing is a speedway, so while you're doing um race the test really you only get to see what the next gen car is like only on a speedway you can't really practice it with the road courses which i would really like to see them put watkins glen and sonoma and then talladega and um daytona for the practice tracks because i think that'd be really cool if they did in the future and honestly Really? I, I think there's a, like, tons of cool stuff about this. Um, here, we'll wreck it just to show you guys if you want here. Here, there. It's not really much here, hang on. But, yeah, I just want them to add the Toyotas and Chevys, then add two Super Speedways, and then add two road courses so you can test drive this, and then in the future, maybe add it to where we can race these with the AI as these cars, but the Toyota, Chevy, and all those. So there's a quick little, oh god. Um, that was not good. But, um, really, so far, I'm honestly gonna say, I'm not trying to be mean or anything, but I'm kind of disappointed in... How, I mean, I'm not disappointed in the car, it's really nice, but I just want them to make it to where you can race them with, in the AI be the cars, in the, like, I want to have a next generation race in NASCAR 21 Ignition, because, like, wouldn't that be cool? Obviously, yes. But I'd probably be the Chevy instead of the Ford. Because here's the thing, it's, like... Some other people probably wanted to drive the Chevy and Toyota, too, so it's like, how is that kind of fair? But really, 
I'm kind of disappointed because all you're doing is just here at a track for 59 minutes, only in one car, not going against anyone else at Daytona International Speedway, and they that's the only thing they did. I'm, I, I wish they could add more, and hopefully they will, which they might, but um, those are my opinions on the next-gen car. Um, if y'all would like to see another video about the NASCAR 21 Ignition, I will sure enough do that if you guys comment and say please do this video again and race because also I will show you something. So go subscribe to Jack's Facts actually and subscribe to my videos. Um subscribe to my channel, subscribe to Jack's Facts, like his video, like Jack's Facts videos, like my videos, and I will see you all in the next video. Deal? Peace. Get ready for some more NASCAR 21 ignition.